Hello YouTube, I'm going to show you a quick tool I use to detect problems on my 240XX. You can see here you can scan, I'll detect your USB and then you can out scan and now you're going to connect. Now the first ones you'll see here, the, the main ones, will be the self diagnostics and the data perimeter active test. The one I use the most is this one, the self diagnostic that tells me if I have any codes which is down 55. If there was a code, it will tell you right here it is, and it will tell you which one it was. And now I'm going to show you the data perimeters, which will show you your math, the TPS, the O2 sensor, your battery, your ignition timing, and that's about it that I use the most. Or you can use the gauges, which will be this one, which I don't use. Or you can do a speed trial, and you can do it from 20, 40, 60, 80, or 100 miles per hour. And I'll tell you the results here in seconds. When you do the auto start, it will do, the, what's it called? Uh, well, as soon as you hit the gas pedal, it will start counting, and it will be done. Anyways, let me see. Now I'll give it up. Your battery, I like that one. My TPS, I think something wrong with my TPS because it says 0.52. Last time I said it, I was 0.50, but it fluctuates up and down. Now I'm gonna turn my car on, you'll be able to see the rest. I don't think you can see it that clear, but we'll see. You can see my RPMs, cam position. So it's a cold start, well not that cold, but and my TPS stays settled. Battery 13.8 and close to 14. Voltage. My timing. My idle. My idle valve. Let's see. Let's see my gauges. And that's it. You can always go back to the diagnostics to see if any codes show up after you turn your car on. But you can see 55, no codes. And that's about it. I'll put a link below. I'm in the description so you can buy it. Try it out.